Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to measure your appliance energy inside Home Assistant using Zigbee Smart Circuit Breakers. And since you know how I love digital twins, I'll add some interactivity to make it even cooler. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one. So when it comes to energy metering, an important question you should be asking yourself when do I use a smart plug with metering function? And when do I use a smart energy meter with clamp or a smart circuit breaker? Well, the answer is, of course, it depends. So if you have a standard wall plug kind of appliance, then the easiest, least invasive method is to get a smart plug, which will give you power and energy readings. And if you have a fused connection unit or adducted air conditioning then these will not have wall plugs which leaves you with a smart clamp meter or a smart circuit breaker right so after some research i went ahead and purchased the eero smart circuit breaker the zigbee variant one pole with neutral it has a lot of features as you can see but honestly i do not care much for all of these features i just want the metering functionality now, are these smart circuit breakers reliable and safe? Well, they do claim they have CE and FCC certifications, but some other people claim that these are not real. And of course, I leave that for you, but I have a solution for that, which we are going to discuss in this video. Now, let us talk about wiring and communications. So you have your mains, you have your original circuit breaker, and you have your appliances. Your circuit breaker is connected, intercepting the line to the appliance, and then the appliances are closing the loop with the neutral to the mains. What we're going to do is that we are going to intercept the line with the smart circuit breaker, and then we need to also connect the neutral because this is an active device it needs also to have its own power so this way we can leverage the previous circuit breaker reliability and the energy metering from the smart circuit breaker so as for the connectivity the Eero zigbee smart circuit breaker connects to your zigbee coordinator and i can confirm it works with zigbee 2 mqtt add-on home assistant and it is important and worth noting that it can work without the Tuya Hub or the Tuya Cloud. So it can purely work as local. Awesome. So let's wire this thing up and do a quick lab test to see the functionality and the connectivity. All right. So what do we have here? We have here our smart circuit breaker, which is a Zigbee circuit breaker. It is from Eero. Uh, it's one pole. Uh, this is one piece. It's compatible with two year smart life. Uh, and uh, the connection is Zigbee, as I mentioned. You can run this independent of two year using the Zigbee 3.0 radio uh, that I have from SM Light. And what it have here, let's open the box. It just comes with a small manual and uh, the breaker. Uh, this is the on off signal LED. It's configurable from 1 to 63 amps. It is 80 to 300 volts and it runs on the uh, 50 to 60 hertz. Okay. Here you get the input line and the output line. And then you have to insert the neutral here. I am not a big fan of this neutral um, input. I think it's not very well made. It's pretty hard to insert it. So I would say this is not what I was expecting. Okay. And here we have it all wired up. So we have our line in blue uh, as per the code for uh, phase three. And then we have a common neutral. Here is the neutral from the mains and one neutral going to the breaker, as I mentioned in this uh, position. And then we have 
a neutral going to the lamp and then the line out just one output to the lamp all right so let's connect the mains and uh, test this device all right so now the mains uh, is connected so you can see the signal is blinking and uh, let's click this one and the light is on so now let's go ahead and start our discovery on the Zigbee and get this one to run. Okay, so now that we have gotten our smart circuit breaker wired up and working, let's get it connected to Zigbee to MQTT. So let's head up to Z2M, allow permit join all. And then we will do a long press on the smart circuit breaker. Okay, and then it should come up. Yes, uh, auto discovered, and the manufacturer and model are correct. Uh, almost the model is incorrect, but it's okay. It's showing as 2P, but we have only the one pole. And here are all the features. So you have your temperature breaker, you have your power breaker, you have your current breaker, over voltage and under voltage breakers. And you have, of course, the state on and off. So on, off, it's pretty fast and responsive on our Zigbee mesh network. It's reading voltage 235 uh, volts. And now let's do one test for the over voltage breaker. We're going to drag this down all the way to something that is below 235 and see if it will work. Okay. And it cuts the power. It's not as fast as we wanted it to be. And let's head to MQTT now and see the entities that we have. We have all of our breakers and their configuration but most importantly we have our energy meter readings that we want let's turn it on and see the current should increase in a moment it's right now reading zero and it's now 0 0.04 so it is indeed reading this very small amperage of the lamp cool so now let's just rename the entities, uh, these are just the non-friendly names. So let's give this a friendly name and also make sure we update the home assistant entity IDs and click rename. And we are good. Okay, so now to the real deal, the smart breaker installation in the panel. Please do consult a qualified professional and do not attempt to do this on your own unless you are qualified. So let's get some basics right first. So for the electrical wiring color codes in the, uh, different countries of the world, you have the following chart, which is from electricaltechnology.org. I really like it. And depending on your country of residence, you might want to take a look. In my case, in UAE, this is the color code. So you have to make sure that you follow that. And one very important uh, step is to figure out the ampacity of the device you are connecting or the appliance and get the correct gauge for that. So I want to take a pause here and talk about the horrible job that one electrician did for me when they installed the dishwasher and washing machine. They did not follow any color coding and they did a lot of looping and it's really a bad job. But this is not for the scope of this video. So until I, I called them again to come and rewire the whole thing, I did install the Eero Smart Circuit Breakers 
to intercept the uh, original ones and they are working fine and as you can see they are blinking one is connected and it is working great and this is the final result now that you have all the knowledge you need to inform your electrician what they need to do uh, better call them and they will do it for you and that's all folks thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you found it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next episodes